Sometimes it takes looking back at history we think is ancient to realize that certain things haven't changed at all. And there is something so, so both tragic and intensely amusing about realizing that some of the lines here could be said by you know, a father of America today, and you wouldn't necessarily know the difference. Um, and also, I really, it's the movies that I loved, you know, movies like, like Clueless was my favorite movie in fourth grade, and I watched it so many times that the tape broke. And what I loved was that it did sort of the reverse, which is take these sort of Jane Austenite ideas and pull them forward and make you realize that there were certain aspects of being female that hadn't changed in 100 years. And also, it was really honored the intelligence of teenage girls and really honored their rebellious spirit. And so I sort of wanted to pay homage or try to make something that, that maybe served that same role, potentially, hopefully, for some young people. And that it's something that young people could watch with their parents and feel good about it and start conversations, because that was just a source of, oftentimes when I was young, if I couldn't say something to my parents that thought it was too weird or too strange or too tough or too scary if we watched or read something together and then discussed it. It was almost like a way to Trojan horse in a question I had about the world. Um, and I love when movies can do that and be intergenerational. So those were some of the goals. And I think so much of that is in Karen Cushman's book. And then it was about just thinking about how do you take this very intimate diary format and hopefully make it feel more cinematic. And a big part of that was um, giving each member of the ensemble more weight because in the book it's all about what, it's all through Birdie's eye view and here it's still a very Birdie centric movie but we also get to really live in the storylines of, you know, Rollo and George and Alice and, um, you know, Lady Ashlyn, our wonderful Billy Piper who's not here with us today but we adore so much and, um, and each of these actors just also brought so much to bear on the script. I mean, I wrote the role of, um, you know, George with Joe in mind, and then he read it and gently but strongly offered suggestions. And then once I cast Bella, I thought, well, that person's dad is Andrew Scott, if you will dare, to, if you dare to join me. And then he really, in the book, the character is much more brutish, and he really injected this complexity and and really kind of honed in on this idea that's in the script that you know, each of the characters is trapped in their own complex social customs and they are each fighting back against society in a way. It's not just Bertie. Um, and then every day I would have conversations with, with Bella and with Isis about their character, about what felt good and what felt natural and what felt like something they wanted to push for and it just, the, the collaboration was has been joyful up until this very day when we all got in a big fight. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it ends 